Hey guys, let us quickly see what are the indications for surgery in a patient who is uh, having a subdural hematoma. We don't really treat all the patients with surgery, isn't it? So what are the indications for surgery? Number one is the presence of mass effect. That is a midline shift of more than 5 mm or a gross anisocoria. Number two is the hematoma thickness. If it's going to be more than 10 mm, you're going to definitely treat with surgery. And point number three is progressive neurological deficits. Like um, if the patient develops a new phonological deficit or if the patient develops new pupillary abnormality in the form of anisocoria or especially if the GCS falls by at least two or more points compared to the GCS at the point of admission is also very important indicator for surgery. So three points. Number one is the hematoma thickness. Number two is the presence of mass effect in the form of midline shift. Number three, of course, is going to be progressive neurological deficits in that the decline in GCS is going to be the most important key for determining whether the patient needs surgery or not.